Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, we're going to look at a very common use case that you find in the real world. Well, we have various files coming in from different suppliers. In this case, we have some broker statements. All of these broker statements, they have, this, they have similar kind of data inside, but they have different column names. Some of them have columns we don't need. But what we want to do is we're going to take all of these different formats in this folder and merge it into one, give it all a common column name and merge it into one. And it looks something like this. We're going to do some magic in Power Query, so let me show you how to do it. All right, step one, blank Excel file, go to data and go to get data from file from folder. Select the folder where all your files are in. Yes. Right. This is going to open a little pop up showing what's inside of your folder. You can see there, there are my three broker statements all in Excel format. I'm going to say transform data that opens power query. All right, let's quickly rename this to column list, right? So what you can see this very first column represents the binary of the Excel file. What we want to do is we want to transform this column into something that we can read. So I'm going to create a new step and we're going to say table transform columns. Yes. And we're going to say, yeah, I'm trying to transform the content column. And what I want to do is I want to simply use Excel workbook function to open that binary. And you can see now to transform that into tables with the data of the tables underneath of that binary. You just expand it and we just say bring it all back. And now you can actually see there are the tables in all three of my broker statements in my folder. Right now what I want to do is let's just call this F2 expanded. Yes. What I want to do next is I'm going to promote the headers inside each of these columns. Right. So what I'm going to do is add a new step. And once again, I'm going to use the, the expression table transform columns because I want to transform an existing column. And in there, I want to transform the column called data. And I simply want to say table promote the headers inside of there. Say close it out. So now you can see if I click on the table there, the headers have been promoted. OK, so let's quickly press F2 there. Promoted. OK, I'm going to add a new step. So what I want next is a comprehensive list of all the column names. So what I'm going to do is add a new column. Yes. We'll add a new step and say table combine. Yes. And in there I'm going to say promoted. Yes. But I want to re combine everything in the data column and turn it like this. And now you see we've combined everything, but now we have all of those junk columns in there as well. It's like basically a bit of a mess, but at least now we have a list of all the columns. So what I want to do now is I want to just say table column names and I put that in brackets, right? So now I have a list of all the column names. Let's just call this F2 column columns, list of all the columns. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say go to file and close and load, bring it back to Excel. So what we're going to do now is we are now, this is our master list of all columns. So what do we want these columns to be actually called not target um, data set. So you need to now kind of specify what you want these columns columns to become. So add a new column. Let's call this rename columns. And these are the new column names. You can basically just have blanks there for all the columns you don't want to include. All right. So once you're done with your list there, you say data and you pull this back into Power Query. So now your master list goes back into Power Query. Let's quickly call this the column renames. OK, and we can remove all the ones we don't. We say remove empty the columns we're not interested in. We actually just interested in these columns. OK, what I want to do now is I want to now create a new blank query. So I've got a new query. Other sources blank. Let's call this one the broker statement. Yes. In there, I want to refer to my column list, but I want to take everything for we took off here from our promoted step over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a very cool trick here. We go to the last step in here and we basically amend this by just adding the keyword meta. OK, there's metadata. And I say I'm going to create a new variable called step. And this last step I want to take off from is called promoted, which is that previous step over there. So I can actually refer to this query, but to a specific 
step in this query, right? So in my broker statement, I'm going to say, cool, refer to value meta, yes. Now we're referred to my column list query, yes. But let's quickly click there, enter there. And it basically returns that last step there. So all I want to do is I want to see that step. Isn't that cool? So this query refers to another step in another query. That is pretty excellent. That's a cool tip already. Next up, we want to now go in and rename each of these tables, these nested tables in here. All right, let's quickly look at renaming. I'm just going to take this column here and say new name. This function we're going to use is table rename columns, and it basically needs a, a list of lists. It's the, like the old column name and the new column name. So we need to do something like that with these column names over there. So that's quite simple in the column names query, I just add a new step and use the function called table two rows to create a list of lists. Check what happens. So now there's your uh, old, uh, old column name, new column name, you can see it through all of those. Right. So that's what we need to stick into our function. Okay, so now let's add a new step, we're going to use once again, table transform columns, and give it Yes, I want to transform the column called data. And I want to say each table tron table rename columns. And I want to look at the underscore represents each table inside of the data column. Yes. And I want to basically rename them um, using the key value pairs from column renames. Yes. And just in case I'm missing a field, I'm just going to say any missing fields, ignore that. And now you'll see like magic, it renamed all the columns. See the only ones that didn't do is the ones we don't need, we're going to look at those next. Okay, it basically did what we wanted to do. Isn't that incredible? Let's just call this renamed. So now what I want to do is I want to get rid of these um, fields that I don't actually need. Like here we have safekeeping fees and we got profit margin. I don't want those. So I'm going to add a new step. And I'm going to say let's refer to the column renames. Yes. You can see each of these lists. Actually, the destination columns are the ones we're looking at, right? So we're going to say here, list transform. Yeah, give me each of these lists, but give me the destination name. So the very first one. So there, we have a list of all the, the end columns you want to keep. And I'm just going to say here, list distinct. So now I have a list of distinct columns I want to keep, I'm just going to rename this to keepers. All right, add a new step, let's go back to renamed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now expand on these tables, right? So I'm going to say table combine everything from the data column. Yes, cool. And it gives me everything. But you can see it's keeping those those columns I don't want. All I need to do is behind that last bracket there, I just say, just show me the keepers. And like magic, it actually does exactly what you wanted. It basically renamed everything from all our broker statements. Yes. And re and only kept the columns that we wanted. So let's quickly just and bring that back into Excel. And there we go. We basically just made power query magic. Well, your BA Sensei signing out.